The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our home page and check out for more videos. Thank you. To stress on the fact that we offend one another, and sometimes you have to stand your ground despite the one that may be offended. So Peter, whose heart sometimes fear human beings playing hypocrisy. You see. The Bible says that don't be terrified by them or I will terrify you before them. Don't fear people's faces. No. no, don't be terrified by people. You need to take your stand for the Lord. If you know that this is scripture, take your stand. We saw that Paul had to correct him because of the implications of his actions. Sometimes for the sake of the glory of God, for the sake of your family, for the future, for the sake of the institution, sometimes for the sake of the majority, you need to take some stands. That could be offensive. But if it's not for your own interest, then don't worry about the consequence too much. Because it is impossible that offenses should not come. So you cannot say no one will offend me. Mean to mean to be seen to be and that I will no, never offend anyone. And I mean so, and I will be into me to me seen to be all. It is a fact. A idea that will be said that a gentle answer turns away wrath. Say a way a book or no, a ye a before a free hole. But we said that that is not a guarantee that so, someone will not take offense. So we'll continue today on offenses. But I want to begin by saying that be careful of the yeast. Then NIV will say the living. Matthew chapter 16 from 5. When they went across the lake, the disciples forgot to take bread. Be careful, Jesus said to them. Be on your guard against the yeast of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. They discussed this among themselves and said, It is because we didn't bring any bread. Now, verse 11. How is it that you don't understand that I was not talking to you about bread? But be on your guard against the yeast of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Yes, then they understood that he was not telling them to guard against the yeast used in bread, but against the teaching of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Now when we talk about yeast, you mean any of various small single-celled fungi that reproduces by fishing. 
na ye ka emu bi a mpempi no otumi emma ode won ka biribi ho a otumi nyini ententem ana ma de no ye kese ye they reproduce by fissing we nyini ententem kra se wo papa bibri it is an element that produces an altering or transforming effects eh adie bi asa wo de fra de bi mu a etumi ma de no sakra e be ye biribi fofro kra so be careful of things that has power to produce effect. That's all that Jesus was saying. So is the effect of the conduct and teachings that are bad and evil. It is like yeast. So it is some of these yeast of teaching of the Pharisees that he confronted in Matthew 15. It is a yes, Pharisee for American church, you be an Obama didn't say on any bit, yes, yeah, bra or Casa or Matthew as empire. It because their teaching was not from God, and Jesus had to uproot it. It has a new church and a free radi, and necessary use to us here. Jesus perceived them as blind people leading them blind, and he has to prevent them from going to ditch. Yes, who is anyway, and you fry for what did and you fry for anyone who. So listen to me, please. When you see that an action or inaction could have a negative consequence on an organization, a family, yourself, or the future, and you have the power to put an end to it, you need to step in and put an end to it. It is a unsa di ye bi emfan sun san so pa emre du me kuobi a sorry ebusya ana wanka sampoa e sa obo modi si e jina e na ujai ana usi ano kwai. J.C. Rye, the first Anglican bishop of Liverpool, says, and I quote: J.C. Rye, na oye so peni e wo ingresi a sorry ni mu pa no ena no di kai we ena bribi o kai. Evil is more contagious than good. Bonne a threat to cry chain papa. Just as disease is more efficacious than health. Tenya yare it to me sign a chain apomodin. So this is what this great man said. We and in your papa kasi okay. It is a fact of life. We a ya brabo musem that evil is more contagious than good. Se bonne a threat and tem a chain papa. Just as disease is more efficacious than health. Senya so when you see evil it has the power of the yeast stop it find the best way to stop evil from perpetuating if it is in your power and do it but remember that you cannot say I will never offend anyone. Now, sometimes you have to say no to a benefactor, a kindly helper. You have to say no to a benefactor. He might have supported your education, but it doesn't mean you have to give yourself to him. In return for his kindness, fear God. Now, then when you watch films these days, women feel that they have to give themselves to people in return for kindness, and they do that shamelessly. This is evil. It has power than good. And now she no ma wo yin wo kasa fidie so a won hwe yi a e be ya o se wo yo be yi e se otumi di ho e mo bi se ne be ya wo betumi di atua ne so ka hwe we e ye bone twe ho firi ho. All of us are always tempted to yield to a benefactor's suggestion even though sometimes it may be against your own values. So wa bo aminti no don't say that. To de bia na ye nyina sanse obi aboa ye nti won hwa na ye kwa kwata san mu sanse ye pese ye bo ye bo modin se bi ye bibi dia tu anipa no ka. Fear God. Suru ewrade. They might have helped you when you were in trouble but you don't have to yield to their evil demands and expectations. E bia na bra won kire won wo boa wo nanso won abra bo bone no hwe en wan ma ho kwan na fifiri wo mu. Fear God. Suru ewrade. Genesis 42 verse 18. E kai mo se ho mai de kai no eti aduana mienu enyimu dun wo hwe no. Genesis 42 verse 18. 
if we can read let's read together on the third day joseph said to them do this and you will live for i fear god now there to so me nsa no joseph ka kire won say munye yei na montena se na medie me suru onyankopon you see for me i've never heard of siblings of a fellow or a person who are so wicked than the brothers of joseph i've never heard any she adofo no menko ame fam die me hunu anuanom bi a wonti mo den I think Joseph, you know, these were very wicked guys. They could sell their brother, or maybe firstly they discuss killing their own brother. Just because of a dream. And the father, the father loved him. Then later on they decided to sell him. They remove his clothes, killed an animal and then dip it in the blood went to their father and said your son our brother is dead you know tadi kuma boa de ni moja ya tadi ni mo de koma wo aja ka kire no say ye nua be ma e ye oba no we eleven of them we no we ni pa tu ba none of them could say that this is not true na wo mu bia ntumi anyina mpo anka say ni ye kan e ye tro and they lived with this wickedness and they bled the old man's heart for years now very what, wicked guys what do we see in wakuma and mutina say in pibibri a one country where jan way at him or dance and papa so when they appeared before joseph the brother will be do yourself anymore and then they said one of us is no more now what can say you move back with the only hope no the true reaction of joseph yeah, Yosef, now all you know, all year the actual plan was to pay back and he said obey to your own sabon and so car but his head was fighting his heart. Then he made this statement. Do this and you will live. For I fear God. You see, it is only the fear of God that makes us sometimes to take some stance. Otherwise, and this we would have given in to that man's advances. Anka papa no nia oye no ibetima mane kwai no wide your pew. Fear God. Suru ewrade. She may be bringing in all the tithes. Ebi ano no ena nintu tu suru duo e kosro kosro chain be But don't close your eyes on a bad character. And so so bobra boni a she and one kata we ni anchere. Don't fear to offend her because you may lose the tithes. Me suru se obe form no se one sha ana nintu tu suru duo no ama. Sometimes it's even not the loss of the ties, but the criticism that you are going to receive from your fellow presbyters. Fear God. Sometimes you have to say no to a superior. Sometimes you have to say no to a superior. Now they may be your bosses. But it doesn't follow that you should yield to them and allow them to draw you into their corrupt ways. And especially these days to their occult groups and don't just say as a soul dinner she now she will call run in the bonnet and i'll pray anymore and number a over here now yeah but and someone for a fortune cool not the work with you fear god so i would add you need a job but don't let them draw you into their awkward group. Fear God. Sometimes you need to say no to a friend. When there are evil communications, their dealings and stance may corrupt your good morals now fear god don't be a people pleaser now listen carry your own head exit their group and don't be afraid to offend them fear god fear god when your right hand offends you, if it will cause you to stumble, the master says, 
cut it. So leave their group. Don't be afraid to offend. At all. At all. Even children are supposed to obey their parents in the Lord. Now, why are you obeying these people outside the commands of God? Now you need to say no to every ungodliness, no matter where it's coming from. Titus 2. From verse 11. It's a very popular verse, especially the 12. For the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us the same grace that has saved us. This same grace teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passion and to live self-controlled, upright and godly lives in this present age. As I do, Yarano, a yen yen, say your pump was born in Yasia Connor, Yen five Junimutia, Nitrine, Ni Unyamesompa, and Tine Yasi Brimo. Present age means present age and all its evils. Yasi Brimo, a chess, a Yasi Brimo, and a Mubonina said that the grace of God, Unyame, not Domon, that has saved us, a Jayan Quan still teaches us to say no to ungodliness. Say, Yen can there be and Tre and Noma Bonina in this present age. While we will wait for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ. Sometimes we live as if he will not come again. But soon he that is to come will come. Who gave himself for us to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a people, he got to do what is right. See, in your daily walk with the Lord, remember as it were to set Christ apart as Lord. In your life. Now always operate from a godly perspective. Draw the lines of resistance. Set the boundaries very, very clear. Dr. Billy Graham says Be attractive and winsome. But do not compromise your conviction for the sake of popularity. Now be attractive. Now be winsome. But do not compromise your convictions. For the sake of popularity. Now let's pay attention to this. One. There are only few men who have lived on this planet Earth with great integrity as this man. Do not compromise your convictions. Now, for the sake of pleasing men, or pleasing women, pleasing your husband, pleasing your children. Sometimes your husband's demand could be standing against the word of God. What do you do? Don't say, This is my husband, this is Jesus. Find the best way to subject his demand under the authority of the word of God. Now, you should not say. I will never offend anyone because the consequences could be dire. 
Now let's visit Eli's home. I don't know, mommy, and two crying and costra Eli, I won't feel in Shiloh. I was Shiloh. See the priestly line of Eli. Oh, she Eli and a sofu dear, I see, and what's cut short? Then I want to atwas one tear no a two try because of the behavior of his children. The child would try so no a gina senior and a ma a bow umbra and his failure to decisively. Discipline them. And yet, I went to me and see I'm fancy one brow yen the bonino. Let's listen to this prophet. Mama Yenti Odifui. First Samuel chapter two from twenty seven. Yes, I see if someone whom I did can wait me and if you might do no soon. Can you imagine a prophet comes to high priest house to convict him of sin? And to prophesy against him because of the evil deeds of his children. Wow, sha ops of penny when if you know the body and in my a you know or before the bar no i'll be in time if i did a now a man of god came to eli and said to him this is what the lord says did i not clearly reveal myself to your ancestors family when they were in Egypt under Pharaoh. Now, when you come to Papa, Eli and Chen, the country and say, "Say, we are this year, and yet me want a day, and I'm here, me try to wait a few years, but I will miss him, Pharaoh, a few no." See, I'm not sure Eli was in Egypt. But you did say Eli, not. Egypt. But when God Israel. revealed Himself to His ancestors in Egypt, He still had Him in mind. And so, bra, when you go upon Him, you won't actually not see for an answer. Then, 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 I will misery you. No, na, when you are me, no, I will not join you. I chose your ancestors out of all the tribes of Israel to be my priests, to go up to my altar, to burn incense, and to wear an ephod in my presence. I also gave your ancestors' family all the food offerings presented by the Israelites. Now, me no Israel must be a kunyam. Say, O medi me sofo na omo afori muti aso ashe afodi na onshe edusham na onshe onshe asofo tadi no menim na me the Israel sofo ja afodi nina me ma wejefi. Why do you scorn my sacrifice? and offering that i prescribe for my dwelling why do you honor your sons more than me by fattening yourself on the choice parts of every offering made by my people israel adenti ana mutietia mi kuma for the and me duane for the me she say one more no metena bia no so na wudi wo mani asene me na mode me man israel aye die nyina mu ade a edikan aye ne muhui na let's pay attention to the big one verse Mama, 30 enti kesie pa eto aso no therefore enti the lord the god of israel declares sey na wurade o nyankopon asie ni i promise that members of your family will minister before me forever but now the Lord declares, Far be it from me. Those who honor me, I will honor, but those who despise me will be disdained. Mekai and Passe, who fear any wedge fear, Nanti and Nanti Menimuda, Nansu Fadi, a Radician, and Parame Cra. Now one are. Would diminino, me di wuni. Na wong a, wo bumi, wo bumi yani mtiano, me bong a wohra. Now this is God. We, e you nyango pon e kasano. He said it, but he has changed his mind. Okay, now so asesa na. See, he doesn't change his nature. On sesa, he said your tear no. But he changes his mind. Now so to me sesa na gain. And no one can fault him. Na obin to me musano he. Any time that you read the Bible and say this. Declares the Lord, it is declared, it is written, it is settled. See, the old man Eli could have prevented this. See, he had tried to act by talking to the children. See, but that was not enough. For he knew that their behavior would attract the anger of god he knew it for which reason he should have been more decisive and firmer in his response to the evil now 
Why am I saying that listening to this? First Samuel 2 from 22. Now Eli, who was very old, heard about everything his sons were doing to all Israel and how they slept with the women who served at the entrance to the tent of meeting. Now Na wabeye eshiada intumadano edumano eda. So he said to them, Why do you do such things? I hear from all the people about those wicked deeds of yours. Na o kachre won se adenti ana mudi sa and sem ye na mitimu sem moni ya if you me yin na enum. No, my sons, the, the report I hear spreading among the lost people is not good. The beat me ma na nyatin kapa na miti mama eurade. If any person sins against another, God may mediate for the offender. But if anyone sins against the Lord, who will intercede for them? His sons, however, did not listen to their father's rebuke, for it was the Lord's will to put them to death. I say, Obi ye unipa bonia, unyangu pamba pata amano. I say, Obi ye urade bonia, why na obe pacha o amano. Nanso when tiye wangeja ne ifise na urade repair ekumwo. God wanted to killed them but the father could have saved them this is not the time for the father to be asking questions and wise sayings if somebody does something against someone god will what of if go straight to the point said the records you could have even suspended them push them away from the altar for a moment and that one could have maybe appeased the wrath of God. Sabre no nene brea wadi Kenyan sa semlu o bubu be e se brea no to me jine ye na ebe to me pa o chun one saying no one to aso anye aso fujuma no ko pimbribi no ye we no mo ebe mo nyami e bufu no abrasi. And now his descendants lost the opportunity of serving the house of God forever and nam so nti hwe se se yi na won to atwa so nyina no wa hwere so obe sum onyankopo on sa sofo won kwa na nyina say please listen to me i don't know it is always good for someone to be sacrificed for the redemption of many bribia mo no se ne be ya dodo no be nyam kwenti no e se se odi obi e gba fori na if you are sacrifice these children discipline them you would have saved the priesthood for his descendants. John chapter 11. Hmm. Hmm. From verse 45. John 11:45. Therefore, many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary and had seen what Jesus did believed in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. Then the chief priests and the Pharisees called a meeting of the Sahindri. What are we accomplishing? They asked, here is this man performing many miracles. Verse 47. Now listen to this. One. If we let him go on like this, everyone will believe in him. And then the Romans will come and take away both our temple and our nation. So he ordered to prevent the Romans from taking their temple and the nation. Cephas 
offered a suggestion. And the Sunday be a Roman for Emma Fawong, anyone with two hundred women in Antinokefa, and they are going to be a by forty nine. The twas so you move at your nine and crown. I like this suggestion. Away, me pesa going to ye, Papa. Then one of them, Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, spoke up. You know nothing at all. I will move back to Caiaphas. Or the Kaifa, or the soft penny, a phenomeno, as he once said, What do you Now, let's take the big one, verse 15. You do not realize that it is better for you that one man die for the people than the whole nation perish. And so, when you say, A year, mamma, said, Only Papa could be a man, no man, no, you and say. Because a little living will always corrupt the whole do. So sometimes you need to let one person die for the whole of them to live. And so let's listen to him again. You do not realize that it is better for you that one man die for the people than the whole nation perish. And so, when you say, "Yema mo say, oni pa ba akubewu ama omano na omano ni na ansei." And then John interpreted what he said. Now, Johanne, what the way in Chirimu? He did not say this on his own, but as high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus would die for the Jewish nation, and not only for that nation, but also for the scattered children of God. To bring them together and make them one. Now, ye dear, in free honor, it him no kai. No mum, sir, in free honor, it him no kai. No mum, sir, or ye also for penning, sir, a phenomenti, and I was shame, come say, yes, will be woo, am I on my own. Now, and ya on my own co. Now, sir, or beck up on Yanko Pong ma, what pity no yan, so a boom, I ye won back. It is a fad, like John said, that this statement was made in respect of Jesus and is dying to save humanity. He said that unknowingly. Send your Johanne Kayano, a assembly, say, or Kaya, say, a five years to Christ to also be who at the Aji Amenian or Kaya, not only in book. The Bible even says that he didn't know that he was prophesying. Just him, he said, not only in Pose or Shanko. See, but the principle is true. Now, so a semtino and I say, and she say, no, and no crap. Because a little living, when not dealt with, can work itself into the entire door. It sounds a more kaki to a be so one young word, Juma, a bit much tetre, a fra morning. Please pay attention. I don't know, Mummy and Tia. You spare the rod, you spoil the child. So, grant you a swabana, who best say a bofra. You spare the rod, who grant you a swabana, you spoil the family. Who best say a busiano, you spare the rod, who crab anua, you spoil the organization. Who best say a jumacuno, you spare the rod, who crab aya, you disturb the future. Yeah, who be hat that you are doing. In many cases, you cannot save the future. Without disturbing the person. So we to me a didachino esiwa and baby brain can be as no obe was so and ne kakra. It is impossible that offenses should come. And madda se and fum so and as and fumye emma. So never say and if you one can be I will not offend anyone. Say media me fum will be ah. It is impossible that offenses should not come. And to me madda says indeed you are too. So you cannot say and to win to me can say. No one will ever offend me. Media will be to me and from me. And that I will never offend anyone. God be with us.